Right, so within the latest beta of macOS, there's references to ultra-wideband connectivity coming to the Mac. Now, you may be wondering why Apple's doing this, and well, I do think there's a very good reason, so let's delve into it. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors, and with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so in the latest version of macOS 12 beta, there's frameworks and also Damians, which are parts of the system that runs in the background, that now supports ultra-wideband connectivity. And while these are the same tools Apple already uses with the iOS devices for the U1 chip. Now, in case you don't know, ultra-wideband connectivity is a short-range wireless communication protocol that's used for space awareness. Now, this means multiple ultra-wideband devices can precisely locate each other. In fact, this is what the AirTag uses. Now, there are other use cases for the U1 chip. For example, faster airdrop, car key authentication, and also quick airplay transfer. Now, how is this going to benefit the Mac? Well, I do think the features I mentioned are going to be a given, but I think the main reason we're seeing the U1 chip is because of the new AirPods Pro. You see, we've heard about the new AirPods supporting lossless audio, and of course, playing lossless audio wirelessly through the codec AirPods have right now cannot be done. And so as a result, there's been a theory that Apple could use AirPlay instead to give us wireless lossless audio with these AirPods. This is how things work with the HomePod, and the HomePod has a U1 chip for quicker AirPlay transfer, so I do think that's the main reason the Mac's gonna support the U1 chip, since many who do buy these new AirPods Pros do want to play lossless audio through all the Apple devices. In fact, I would not be surprised if we do see a beta of iPadOS that also has support for ultra-wideband connectivity because that's another major product line that hasn't got the U1 chip yet. And so, yeah, I do think before the AirPods Pro 2 release, we should see more Macs and iPads get ultra-wideband support. Also, do remember that Apple engineers during an interview did say that Bluetooth has its limitations, and so Apple could be working on their new standards that could be a new version of AirPlay that uses the U1 chip. In fact, I would not be surprised if Apple does release a U2 chip that reduces the latency when using AirPlay and so gives you a much better lossless experience with these new AirPods. But guys, tell me in the comments below, do you agree with this? Do you think ultra-wideband connectivity is coming to the Mac because of AirPods Pro 2? Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the code above on details regarding the iPad Pro with the M2 chip. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.